So the next movie we watched for 31 days was The Fun House Massacre, and this came out in 2015. Um, we watched Ice Cream Man, Clint Howard was in that, so we went to The Fun House Massacre from that. Um, was it a great movie? No, it wasn't a great movie. Um, was it entertaining? Yes, it was entertaining. Um, the the writing was all right. You know, there was a little bit of humor in it, but they didn't go... I mean, it, it felt like a campy film, but they didn't go, like, boom with the campiness. They didn't go all out with the campiness. They were trying to keep it a horror, slasher, violent kind of film, but it was campy. Um, I like my film... I like my campy films very campy. You know, I enjoyed Ice Cream Man for the campy factor and I like the camp ramped you know I love like killer clowns from outer space that kind of thing um this wasn't going there you know but but that's the that's how it is that's how this movie is um I found it enjoyable I liked the campy elements but wanted more camp wanted more humor um the rest of it was okay um what I did enjoy was the actors some of the great actors I mean Robert England was in this um, I mean, there were a lot of good actors in this. A lot of them weren't in it very much, but they were peppered throughout so that there was something interesting going on and something interesting would come up. Um, you know, I've seen a lot of movies like this that are kind of modern horrors that are very dull. And this was above that. I expected it to be that, and it was better than that. Um, was it amazing? No. It, 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 this, it was the kind of movie that if it was on cable and I sat down, it would definitely suck me in and I would enjoy watching it. Um, I can't imagine it like being out in the theater and you paying like $15 to see it. I can't imagine it being like that. Um, if you think you might enjoy it based on the trailer, I would definitely watch it. I would suggest it. I mean, it's written a little bit better than a lot of those kind of flat horrors that get turned out. Um, the production value was a little bit better than that as well. Um, the art direction I thought was pretty good. Um, like I said, it's a little funny and a little campy. Not enough for my taste for this kind of thing. Um, but someone else I could see enjoying it if that, uh, that campy stuff, if it's too much this might be more their their style um so yeah i mean it's a movie that i mean i think joshua and i both i might have enjoyed it more than he did but i think that we both felt like it was pretty good it we didn't feel like we wasted our time watching it there was some good um there were some good performances the story was kind of interesting it was about um these crazy killers who get let out of the the, their asylum um, and they there's this um, fun house it's it's like a haunted house but it's like a house of horrors more like a house of horrors which have these characters that are local killers for real and they have people playing the local real killers anyway they they get rescued out of the asylum and they come to take over and wreak havoc so it's an interesting story I mean it's definitely like suspend your belief kind of story especially with things that happen at the end like people gang together to, to fight them and all this stuff I mean, you really have to suspend your disbelief that's where the, some of the campiness comes in like I said I felt like it could use a little more because you have to suspend your disbelief so much and the production value was kind of going there but it wasn't that kind of a movie um Anyway, I enjoyed it. I liked it. I think it's worth the watch. Check out the trailer. See if that's your your style. And then go for it if you find it entertaining. Um, if you want something real heady, if you want something that you've like never seen before, or something real funny, no. Um, you want something entertaining and a little different. I mean, it was a little different. Yeah, go for it. Go for it. I, I, I enjoyed it but I didn't think it was a masterpiece, but it wasn't trying to be. I think that was one of the things about this film. It knew what it was 
It knew what it was trying to be, and it wasn't trying to be more than that. Um, it fit itself very well. Um, anyway, I'm not sure where we're going to go from here. I know we decided on Robert England, and we're going to pick something that he's in next.